We've made sushi tacos. And we've made sushi burgers. What's next? Sushi cake? Sushi ingredient, roll call. Tuna, maguro, salmon, sake, shrimp, amaebi, salmon roe, ikura, snow crab, kani, oba, shiso, pork cutlet, tonkatsu, sprout, sprout, Japanese cucumber, kiuri, avocado, avocado, seaweed, nori, egg, egg, I guess we gotta make it. We're gonna whisk one egg with one teaspoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. Turn the stove onto low heat, add a little bit of cooking oil. Egg, omuretsu, tamago. Okay, it seems like everything's here. Let's begin. We are gonna be making a personal size cake with one of these. I also made some rice in my rice cooker. You want a small grain white rice in order for this to work. Let's start off by slicing all these ingredients. And I think we should cut it around the same size. Okay, hopefully that fits. First thing you wanna do is make sure you kind of wet everything so the rice doesn't stick to it. Next we're gonna add our pork katsu. Next we're gonna add a little bit more rice to help flatten everything out for the next layer. Next let's add the tuna. Next let's do the salmon. That's beautiful. Super ripe avocado. Next, we're gonna seal off the top with some more rice. For the sides, I wanted to make something like a California roll. Measure the sides and cut it so it's the height of the cake. This should do it. In order to glue these together, we just use a few pieces of rice. Apparently, you just smear it down, and then you stick a new piece on top. Holds it in place. Now, let's cover the seaweed with some rice. Take some of our tiny fish roe, sprinkle it on kind of like a California roll. Ah, look how beautiful that is. Looks beautiful. Time to decorate the cake. Oh my gosh! Rice, pork cutlet, rice, ahi tuna, salmon, avocado, more rice, and the top. Eight layers of goodness. It's time for me to try this out. Wow. <laughs> That's something else. What does this taste like? You know that song, Under the Sea, with all the fish and how they're all having a party? It kind of tastes like that. <laughs> the katsu is like crispy, and the fish is like nice and smooth and creamy, and so is the avocado. And then these eggs on the side and the cucumber on the top are nice and crunchy. Oh, it's so good. It's so different. I've never had anything like this in my life. Oh. Oh. Can we start the vlog? Hello Gatsby, you are a corgi on fleek. Alexa, what is your dream job? I want to be the computer from Star Trek. <laughs> Alexa, why are there so many songs about rainbows? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me.
Nice! The aquarium is all clean. The reactor that I added in is doing a pretty good job at making sure that the phosphates stay in check. I noticed that the sand is not as brown as it usually is, which is a really good sign that things are going in the right direction. Having said that, the euphilias, like the torch corals, the wavy stuff, just like died. It's just like super, super sensitive. So I'm gonna have to replace them at some point. And one of you guys wanted me to talk a little bit more about my aquarium controller that I have, which is a Neptune Apex controller. And what that does is it controls the aquarium. You plug all the electrical appliances, such as the pump, heater, lighting, into the controller and it controls your aquarium. One of my favorite features of it is the fact that it controls the heating and cooling aspect. Since my tank has a hood, the temperature tends to get really hot. In a reef tank, you need to keep the temperature of the water at a specific temperature. The problem is that heaters tend to break all the time and they break in the on position. So what happens is they just stay on and just heat the water up all the time. So what an aquarium controller does is it actually turns off the heater because the heater is plugged into the controller. So far, it's moving in the right direction. So that's good. More mail, you guys. Kathy, we got some more mail. This is from Lauren Tesla from Scottsdale, Arizona. Dear Gatsby, I love you so much for two reasons. Reason one, you are my favorite YouTuber. The second reason, we are thinking of getting a corgi named Chocolate from Sarah from Chula Vista, California. Please accept this donation for Sweet Gatsby's Root Canal. And Sarah listed some rapid fire questions. Let's answer them right now. What is your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Raichu. Did you do any sports growing up? I did tennis. What is your favorite song? Life is a song by Patrick Park. At what age did you learn to play the ukulele? I learned in junior high, I believe, but I did take guitar lessons from elementary school. I took guitar for like 11 years. Do you have a Charizard on Pokemon Go? Sure do. This is from Garrett from Avon Lake, Ohio. I bought my Corgi calendar in January and put it in my locker at school. I bet everyone's envious. This is from Anya from Croatia. This is from Brooke from Bellevue, Nebraska. I like this one. Hi, my name is Lily. I am seven years old. My little brother Rev and I love watching you and Gatsby. It makes us happy even when we are sick. Look at this. A Kong squeeze. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Do you smell it? it? Smells good, huh? Roll over. Mm. This is from Victoria from Jakarta, Indonesia. I need chicken and rice. Just add chicken and rice. <laughs> Lucky the corgi. Gatsby, you gotta wait. Gatsby, you gotta let him go. Finland. Apparently the package got a little damaged, so it was resealed. All these pages got wet. This is from Ina from Finland. After wiping down all the candies, we were able to salvage quite a lot of it. We got these toys for Gatsby. Peach. Wow. Thank you so much, everyone, for all the awesome things as usual. Gatsby really scored this time. Let's continue on with the vlog. Okay, it's time to head off to the gym. I'm gonna hit some arms. Switch it up a little bit. See you guys there. I 
haven't done arms in a super long time. I've just been hitting everything else, so it's kind of nice to get a good pump in. Anyway, gonna head back home now, check up on the corgi. Oh man, that sushi cake was so good. Anyway, I thought I would give you guys an update on my movie watching. I was finally able to watch all the movies that were released by Disney for last year. Can you believe it? Disney released 12 movies last year. They're taking over the world. Anyway, I thought I would rank them from the worst one to the best one, in my opinion, of course. Let's get started. The worst movie of last year was Alice Through the Looking Glass. So next on the list is the movie I just saw yesterday, The Queen of Katwe. After that, The Finest Hours. Number nine, The BFG, Doctor Strange. Number seven, Pete's Dragon. And then, The Jungle Book, Finding Dory. Number four, Captain America Civil War. Number three, Zootopia. Number two, Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. And number one, Moana. I can't believe they released so many movies and I can't believe I saw them all. Hey. Oh, there's the pose. Would you like to go to the park? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's the pose. There's the pose. One leg off the ground. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, what do you want to know? Who do I have to pay to go away? Hey, what do I need to show? So. Hey, I had to rush home because I'm actually going to meet up with my friends for dinner. So, which one's your favorite month? <laughs> August. <laughs> that one? I didn't even nah, like it. Oh, oh, I like this one. Good one. With all the balls. Look how happy This Gatsby is my favorite looks. month. Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. I like that one. That's yeah. pure bliss. <laughs> yeah. Pure bliss. <laughs> Yeah, I threw all the balls. Well, no, no, I had, I had friends. No, no, we had a helper. We had a helper who was throwing the balls too. Look at some legs. Yeah. Legs, man. Super filling. Good. I was the only one who ate it with a knife. Yeah. I, I was scolded. I was scolded. <laughs> I know. I brought shame <laughs> to our table. Thank you. And now Sean is coming over. Back from court. Coachella. 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 Corgachella. Yeah, you guys had more fun here than. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna play some more snipper clips. So if you guys don't remember, we have to work as a team to complete the task. Which one should we do? Do that one. All right. Flucky flower. Gems. Ready? Go. So you have to pull the flower out exactly there. Okay, I'm gonna jump and cut you. Okay, there. Okay, now now scoop the the, the the flower in the center. Okay. Okay. All the way up. I can't jump. Okay, wait, wait, cut me. Jump. Or like Oh no! Yeah! That worked! <laughs> that somehow worked! <laughs> <laughs> I okay. was trying to cut you and I pressed the wrong button. Stop it, Sean! Stop it! Oh, so if these things touch it, then it starts all over again. Okay, I got mine. Sean! No! <laughs> yeah, give me the one with two. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> okay, you got it. You got it. Rotate. Oh, got, got it. it. We got it. Sean, what are you doing? No! He <laughs> slipped away. Rotate. What the heck? Come back! <laughs> okay, you got it. You got it. No, I don't. There. You got it. 
Oh yes. Oh yeah. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> oh. Yes. We did it. That was hard. It. it needs to get all the way to the top somehow. What are you doing? I think we're supposed to pull at him up. See, see, like the little horns on the side. Ah, yeah. See. Look at the heart, look at the hearts on the face on the top. Yeah, we got it! And he just bounces <sighs> down, like he's so happy now. That was hard. Thanks for watching. We had a good time. We're becoming good team members. Remember the first one? We were really bad. Yeah, I didn't get the first one. <laughs> okay, which one are we gonna try, Sean? The popcorn one, the easiest to wipe? No, the pepper one, the star hard. Hey, the house like Rice Krispies are out. I don't taste the chili. I do. Nope. American pastel ha And it looks like there's chocolate in the center. He's like an m, &M. Very American. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. I like it. Yeah. It has like a crispier shell than an m, &M. Tastes like a giant m, m to me. La Crissi original? original? I don't even know what that is. I think it's licorice. I can't even taste it. Well, I, I taste the last candy. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It tastes like black licorice. There's not that much black licorice in America. No. <laughs> You're spitting it out? Come on, Ryan. I finished the whole thing. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna try this one. Suku Laku, which is filled licorice. <laughs> filled with what? Oh. Oh, it's like caramel. Caramel filled. There's like a caramel piece in there. The, you know what? Here. This one's probably gonna be good because it looks like most of it is whatever that stuff in the middle is. I like this. This one's not bad. I guess my favorite one is this one. I like the chili one because it tastes like the most chocolate. Because <laughs> there's like a crunch bar. Thank you so much, Ina, for letting us try these out. I'm sorry I don't like the licorice that much, but oh, yeah. I'll try the other ones. I'm willing to try the other ones and see. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm full of so much food. Gatsby, what's up? We had such a long day today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Come on, Gatsby. Anyway, we're gonna head to bed. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Are you ready, Gatsby?